2 verse 12. First day about the leaven of bread when they killed the Passover, the disciples said unto him, Where wilt thou that we go and prepare that thou mayest eat the Passover? And he sent it to forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the good man of the house, the master said, where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared, there made ready for us. And the disciples went forth and came into the city and found as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And in the evening he cometh with the twelve. And as they sat and did eat, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, one of you which eateth with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve which dippeth with me in the dish. Son of man indeed goeth as it writ as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. And as they said, as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed and break it and gave to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. He took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine until that day that I drink in the new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. Uh, a few minutes, I want to talk about Christian communion. Christian communion. Communion with God prepares us of purpose. Communion with God prepares us for purpose. So your good definition of worship is communion with God. The communion is where God prepares us for purpose. Union, as we deal with it today, is this matter of being around God's faith. This matter of sharing in the Lord's table, the Lord's over the supper. It's the last supper. It wasn't the last supper, it was the last supper before he died. table now, because they don't have that supper time. Right. Come on. Most of these young folks don't know what supper is. <laughs> y'all, y'all, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> I was coming up, dinner was what they call lunch. Mm-hmm. And what y'all call dinner, we call supper. Mm-hmm. Y'all look at me funny if you want to. <laughs> I didn't get fed in the gym, I got fed in the supper. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is, is that Jesus, in those times, there was no such thing as a table. So we say the Lord said, that, that drawing that was painted by 
Michelangelo. Got them all around the table. They didn't have no tables back then. No, no, no. They had, uh, that's, that's why they were so adamant about people washing their feet. Right. Because in those days, when they ate, most of the time they were on pillows or cushions. Yeah. 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 They reclined their feet all over their ass. Yeah. That's why nobody wanted to be with your rusty, dusty feet all over their ass. <laughs> so they made sure your feet was clean. Yeah, yeah. I know they had the black folks, so you can't depend on them to wash them. You wash them and they get them. Now, they did a lot of washing because those days people wore sandals. And they didn't walk on paved roads. It was dusty roads. So even if you, even if you wash your feet before you left the house, they going to be dirty before you get to your destination. They couldn't go and get in the car and in the garage. Hit the button and the door go up. Right. They had to walk where they had to go. Right. So, so they had, uh, they would recline around a common bowl or a bowl, and the substance would be inside that bowl. That's what I have a witness here. Yeah. But we use the term table symbolically uh, because it, 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 it designates this idea of, of, of what Jesus implement in this whole scenario, this matter of uh, the Lord's table. I'm gonna, I want to look at it from the view that we talked about many times before. Uh, toward the table, at the table, and from the table. That I'm trying to get you to see that, that Jesus uh, did not implement this by accident. But he has purpose. When he institutes the Lord's Supper. Yeah, yeah. Are you going to pray with me? Yeah. Yeah. y'all shout it so long, I'm going to finish all this y'all get out of I ain't going to penalize you for praying. Let me, let me start to talk about the disciples' preparation. The disciples' preparation. The disciples' preparation. That, that, that a lot of folk in church think God is a God of, you know, let's just do it haphazardly, but. God is a God of preparation. Here, here in the passage, you see again this matter of preparation. See, y'all think you can't get a choir singing like that just half after You know, they, they got some of us that didn't come to choir rehearsal, but most of them they come to choir rehearsal so they can rehearse what they're going to sing. I wish I had a witness here. And a good choir don't just shout on Sunday. Come on here, somebody. Good choir, if they really know the Lord, they'll be shouting on Thursday night. Yeah. If you don't shout for show, you shout, I wish I had a witness. Because something's going on on the inside. Our yeah. God don't re he doesn't restrict his movement to Sunday morning. Yeah. He would observe the Passover. Yeah. 
because he's an observant kind of fellow. Yeah. I wish I had a witness. You know, see, some people go ask, are you going to church today? I wish I had a witness here. Some folks, you already know they want to be in church. Yeah. Simply because it's Sunday morning. Yeah. Well, I take a sense of y'all don't understand. Y'all understand. Yeah, 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 you got to know. They, they come in and they go, oh, if you see Sister Toes, I, I don't see a car. And I say, if Sister Toes lay out there, she's sick. Y'all miss it, y'all miss it. Because some folks, you know, don't be at church. I mean, that, that, that's part of that MO. That's what you can depend on that. They, they knew Jesus, which, which, which suggests to me that they had a relationship with the Master. They had an intimate relationship with Christ, which caused them to ask the right question. Where are we going to eat the Passover? Because we committed that. Are you going to uh, participate in the Passover this year? Are we going to have, no, no, they didn't ask that, but they asked where, not what, not if, they asked where. Yeah. I know you're going to do it, I know we're going to have it, just let us know where we have to go to have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. And you see, you've got to be close enough to Jesus to know when to ask the right kind of question. Yeah. Maybe you aren't going in the right direction because you haven't asked the right question. Maybe you haven't asked the right question because you don't know him well enough. Some questions are insulting. Some questions are deplorable. That you need to know enough about the master to know what you should ask him in the first place. Oh, they're intimate with the Lord. Yeah. But the, the, the scenario suggests that Jesus is the God of arrangement. For he had already made arrangements. I wish I had a witness here. I wish I had a witness here. The, the arrangements were made before they asked the question. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They were already made, he already made the arrangements, but he didn't tell them. Oh, y'all need to hear me in there. Because some of y'all, you think the Lord has to tell you everything that he's up to. Well, I came by the time I don't care how close you are to the Lord. I wish I needed 12 were close to him. Peter, James, and John were even closer, but none of them knew where. Because he didn't tell them. He'd already made arrangements, but he never told them. You got to understand because you're a child of God, doesn't mean God will tell you everything that's going on in your life. Yeah. He didn't he didn't give my address. I mean you can uh, go go down the street uh, just a few just a few few blocks. Down Monkey Wood. When you get down there to the way, make a right. Walk about five pages. Yeah. We'll see an hour pass right now. Yeah. Y'all do know this is hypothetical or going on there. <laughs> he didn't give them address. Nope. He didn't even give them direct directions. Oh. Wish I had a witness here. Yeah. He tells them, uh, Brother Pico, he tells them, Go look for a man. Yeah. I wish I had a witness here. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. You, you talk about divine intervention. Yeah. How does he know a man going to be where the man's supposed to be? Yeah. Watch me, watch me. Yeah. Y'all think it, it ain't easy. Yeah. Because he says you will see a man carrying a water pipe. Yeah. <laughs> And the water pot was not a man's job. Amen. And the water pot was the kind of thing you saw a woman do. We had a witness here. But because Jesus had already made arrangements, he already prepared a man to do the unusual, to be in the right place at the right time. 
to meet the folk he sent to meet. That's why it's dangerous to delay when God tells you to go. I don't have time to delay. I don't have time to, 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 to get fixed my nails. I don't have time to fix my hair. I don't have time to change clothes. I don't have time. Let me your hand with this here. When God says go, I've got to go when it says go. Because I'm on my way somewhere. I've got to meet somebody. Preparing to, to go somewhere. I'm preparing to move from where I am right now. 
I'm moving toward the direction. See, you don't understand the Bible if you don't understand movement. That's why I tell you it's all connected. You see, when you get Genesis, he said he created man. Come on here, somebody. In his own image. Come on here, somebody. But man messed up. And when man messed up, the creator, I wish I had a witness here, stood in the created space so he could save him even after he messed up. So God became a man to fix up man's mess up so man could be in my wish I had to witness. And all I'm trying to tell you that in Genesis, he's talking about man, but in Matthew and Mark, he's talking about the second Adam, another man called G. I wish I had a witness. That God was already on his way to Matthew when Genesis always had been with Before he created the world, before the foundation of the world, he had already made restitution for man's mess up. Somebody said, why did he create him if he knew he was going to mess up? I'm glad he did. Because if he waited for man not to mess up, he never would have made us. He made us in spite of who we are. He made us in spite of our mess up. He made us in spite of that we are not worthy to be called his children, but he made a difference. Thank you. 
understand something. You can't really get close to the Lord without learning something about self-sacrifice. Don't proclaim you want to get close to Jesus and you're all about me, 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 me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't think you're going to get close to Jesus and all about I. They don't ever call my name. They don't ever give me anything. Nobody want to pay me any kind of homage. I wish I had a witness here. He bragging on Brother Lisa's friend. He never bragged on my granddaughter. Mm. Your granddaughter can sing like that. I'll brag on him I've been through something. 
sorry. You ain't got to feel sorry for me. I just want you to know I feel good for you. You see that guy you see standing here, this is the, the end product, but it didn't always, it was always like it is right now. What you see is a whole lot better than what I've been through. I've, I've been through the storm. I, I've had to go through the fire. But I keep trying to tell you I'm made I had a witness here. 
Jesus said your fears have to be overcome with your faith. And if your faith tells you, Father, have your way, Father, not my will, Father, do whatever you want to do. Do I have a witness here? Uh, you know how it turned out. Scary disciples. Denying Peter three times. Denying 